Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh Just a few perspectives, none of them is going to be the exact right perspective because only Maharaj has the exact right perspective First thing in the morning, you're basically having a big uh, bath of truth You know, your soul, um, as you start progressing spiritually likes to hear this beautiful truth that Gurbani is full of uh, and a line from Gurbani from Japji Sahib actually confirms this when it says uh, mat papa ke sang, pe nave ke rang. and having that bath first thing in the morning you know if it makes us nice and clean hopefully um, and then during the day we are going to get affected by society at that point you do that as uh, and that kind of gets you back into the routine of what you were thinking about earlier first thing in the morning and then last thing at night before you go to sleep you remind yourself of this truth again but in Kirtan Soila is a way of washing away the filth of the world that's going to fall upon you because of the fact that we choose to live in the world so we eat every day three times a day um, and your soul also needs the food of um, this Gyan, this wisdom Gurajan Dev Ji in Sukhani Sahib says Brahm Gyani Ka Pojan Gyan so the, the person who is um, spiritually enlightened they actually live off Gyan and part is a way of kind of basically filling yourself up with this truth and this and this love and keeping your soul nice and strong and healthy so that when you come across these obstacles you can react in the best way and so really it's food that sustains us throughout the day and if we have a big meal first thing in the morning uh, by doing our nickname then to the rest of the day you know we actually are um, feeling quite strong and then by the evening when we're getting a little bit hungry again we do, we have another big meal and then at night time a quick little bit of um, you know, Kirtan Soila and then that keeps us going until the morning um, and again we go back to the same routine Doing your part every day is a bit like reminding yourself of the essential truths about life Imagine a bucket which was full of holes um, and you know there's loads of little holes all around the bucket but you want to keep as much water in the bucket as possible so obviously the first thing you do is put as much water into the bucket um, first thing and then what you try to do is um, during the day when, it, when the water starts going down you top it up um, and your nickname is a bit like that we have to accept the fact that a lot of us are like leaky buckets so I, I certainly am another way that a lot of people look at part is actually that it's a, an expression of their love for their Guru Guru Sahib uses the analogy of a bride and a husband and reaffirming that love is a very important part of any relationship so you can imagine if somebody loves Waheguru um, and Gurbani and their Guru as well um, then what they're going to do is they're going to wake up first thing and express that love by singing this part out and one important thing to understand is that Gurbani is not simply teaching us about the way it actually is the way so by singing Gurbani by uh, reading it with love we can actually um, look through Guru Nanak Dev Ji's eyes then actually doing part becomes like seeing your Guru and uh, you know we all know the line Bani Guru, Guru hai Bani, Vich Bani Amrit Sari so if you say it with um, with love and devotion then really it becomes um, a, a spiritual act in itself and also it becomes an act of love and accompanying that love whenever you see your beloved you imagine if you are in love and you hug that person then you get a lot of joy from it so actually it becomes a pleasure, it doesn't become a chore anymore it's a joy to be able to do part so when you look at uh, Binti Chopi for example um, Guru Gobind Singh says Tor pajan ki rahe payasa. Let me be thirsty to do your praises, to sing your praises um, and this really is part is that bhajan um, we can only ask our Guru to give us the, the, the thirst for that for example, you know, the father of uh, modern uh, philosophy, Descartes when you study philosophy, you spend a lot of time reading this again and again and again because within a paragraph, he will go into so much so many different concepts, you have to really be careful about what he's trying to say here and reread it and it's the same with Gurbani, or in, in fact Gurbani is far more densely packed, I would say uh, one Shabbat can teach you enough you need to do to live your life in a very beautiful way and imagine the whole of Jabji Sahib is so so deep it takes a long time to really um, unpack all of that and take on that wisdom and every day you do need to think about it you can't just read it once and then hope to take on that, that meaning at every point you know you're going to be only getting a certain percentage of that density that is actually there and so hopefully another day you will get some other parts uh, and that goes on to another point which is when you know we're talking about Bani being Guru uh, doing a nitnim is a bit like having a conversation with your Guru every day so it's kind of like you hear and you see things that your Guru wanted you to know that wanted to tell you but you're doing it through the part uh, because Gurbani is the Guru uh, you know we can't say oh it's just a document it's not Sahib Mera Neet Nava uh, which means that basically my Lord daily he is new he never gets old similarly with us 
Um, every day is a new day. But if you're committed to following Guru Sikhi and Guru's Mat, and this is the path for you, then actually first thing in the morning waking up and reading part is a bit like reaffirming your commitment to what you want to follow. Japji Sahib for example, Anand Sahib, uh, Jab Sahib, other things like people read Sukhni Sahib every day. You know, these are all um, parts that were written specifically by our Gurus. You know, we know that Guru Pai Lena, when he met Guru Nanak Dev Ji, he would be reading Japji Sahib. This part that we're reading now is kind of reaffirming all the things that the Gurus have done and, and putting trust in them that this is going to transform us from the inside. You know, Guru is a bit like an alchemist. The highest art of alchemy is to convert the human being um, into something higher. And you know, we know that Guru uh, in Asa Divar, Balhari, Gur Apne, Diohari, Sadavar, Jin Manaste, Devte Kie, Kartna Lagivar. So I'm a sacrifice to my Guru who made demigods out of just you know, mere mortals. And this word Kamai is an important word to, to learn because what it means is to earn. And you know, we know that if anything which is hard and difficult, you have to put effort in, Menat. You know, to achieve something from that. If you want to be a great Kirtani or learn, you know, Taos or Dilruba, even Tabla, to be a master Ustad in Tabla takes a lot of time and dedication. You can't just, you can't just get it straight away. And it's the same with Bart. To get a real appreciation of the flavor of this Bart, you have to do it every day. Uh, and then, you know, at some point, you're going to appreciate how beautiful it is. Guru Sahib wrote it for us for a reason. If you feel that it's worth testing your Guru on this, I would suggest, you know, take a Bart. Um, that you would like to learn, for example, even if from your nickname or other parts you might want to practice, you know, and do it. Do it every day for maybe 40 days or maybe even for two, three months, and then see after those two, three months how much more you get from that part um, after those three months than before you started out. And that's the kamai of it. And always start off by doing ardas. Say ardas to Wahiguru Guruji, please help me to uh, really appreciate this part and understand it or appreciate your um, Naam Japna, your Guru Mantar and um, value it and then when you start doing it, Guru will automatically help you uh, and that's the beauty of our Guru, our Guru He's right here, right now, He's not gone anywhere Guru Sahib came on this earth not just to give us the beautiful wisdom that He has but really to change the world We see that because He says, look I've come to spread Taram and Taram being righteousness and really, the Khalsa being the Akal Puriki forge, and not just the Khalsa, but the six, they actually effectively become Guru's hands and fingers on this planet. You know, they are trying to achieve Guru's aims, which is to achieve a, a, a world which is based upon compassion. If we're to achieve that, we need to have a community which we can work together to achieve that. And Nitanim is a little bit like um, building a community. Uh, a good example would be, look, um, Muslims, I will always say how amazing it is that all of them bow down towards the Kaaba. Well, for us, it's the nickname and Guru Granth Sahib Ji. You know, this is this, the, the kind of guide, the, the, two, the things that bind us together. How are we ever going to have Panj Pyari if we don't do our part? You know, we have to memorize all Panj Baniya in order to become, you know, part of the Panj Pyari. We cannot achieve that unless we start doing our part every day. Because it's very hard to memorize some of the part. And actually, memorizing it makes it even more beautiful. The last but not, not in any way the least important uh, point I want to bring up about Nitnim um, is actually the one about Rehat that is prescribed. Guru Sahib is saying do this every day. Guru Prasad is a very important part of being a Sikh. You know you would gain nothing from taking on somebody who's not enlightened as your Guru. You know take me if you, if you decided you wanted to learn from me I can only teach you the limited knowledge that I have. I'm not enlightened I can't help you any further. Um, then just give you the basics. And you know, another part from Sukhmani Sahib comes Satkur Sikh ko naam tan de Gurka Sikh vadpagi hai. That the Guru gives the Sikh the treasure of the naam. You know, even in Asa Divar, Guru Sahib is saying, Look, uh, Har Amrit Pagat Pandar hai Gur Satgur Pase Ram Raji. Am Mrit, you know, this nectar of immortality basically. Guru Sahib has that in his grasp. He has the power of Gur Prasad and he can give that, that to us, but we have to follow him. And we see the example in Sikh history of Pai Lena, who follows his Guru with all his mind, body and soul and look what he achieves, he becomes the next Guru. Now we look at the Panj Pyari and how they give their everything to their Guru, prepare to give their life even, their head even and then they become the Guru Khalsa Pant. Why not do it to please your Guru? Guru is so great, he's given us so much. It's a quick Shabbat about this. Darshan dekh jiva gur tera, puran karam hoi prab mera, ehe binanti sun prab mere, deho naam kar apne chere. Make me your servant. 
and really, you know, um, it may seem, for some people, it seems like, Oh, why are you uh, reducing your essential humanity to that of a servant? But when you have somebody so beautiful and so great as your guru, you know, it's a pleasure to give your head to that person. And even at Anand Sahib, we see that, you know, You know, if you see such a great guru, give your head to that guru, you know, and then lose yourself. Remember the game essentially is to lose your ego. And this ego is what you're giving to your Guru, this I, 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 you're now saying you, you, you. Because Guru is enlightened and he has the power to bless us, the Guru Prasad. He's been blessed by Wahi Guru with this amazing truth and this amazing power to bless us. And we give ourselves to our Guru and Guru gives us everything. If any of these examples have helped, that's great. They haven't really come from me. I've been told all these by a lot of the great Guru Sikhs that I've met in my time. Please, if I've made any mistakes, feel, feel free to tell me so. Um, and hopefully I can learn from that as well. Um, and let's all ask Guruji for wisdom that we can learn from him um, and practice that in our lives. You know, we have to listen, learn and apply. Um, and hopefully we can all do that, me included. Wahi Guruji ka khalsa, Wahi Guruji ki fateh.